assalamu alaikum guys uh, my name is mohammed yunus and i'm a Hodu technical developer i am back with another video uh, in this course uh, in this video we are going to talk about how to add uh, a menu item and then we will add uh, an action and we will link that action with uh, that menu item so first of all uh, we uh, have to check the code uh, and the external id that uh, this menu item have what we can do for this first of all we have to uh, turn on the debug mode which we already uh, explained and then uh, we will go to the uh, settings and then uh, technical menu and then uh, scroll down scroll down and then you will see a menu item uh, menu so here you will have to search for products so we have uh, these options let me just open the uh, menu we have uh, where we have to add the menu item to compare the place where it uh, is located so let me just go to the sales module and then there so this this menu item is under products products and then products menu so if we go here then we have sales products and products so if we go here this is the sales menu this is the products and then products so this is the menu that we are looking for so this this is the all the information from we can see from the front you if you have if uh, this menu have any sub menu then we will be able to see it here but uh, here uh, we have to find out the external id of uh, this uh, menu item to check the um, code used for it what you have to do click this debug icon and then uh, click this view metadata this is the menu item uh, external id this is the module name where this menu item is located so we will just copy this uh, external id and then open up uh, our uh, editor uh, so and then go to add-ins and then we will directly go to the sales module because we uh, as we know that uh, uh, the menu item is in the sale modules control shift uh, f and then paste the external id so just double click it and we can see that this is the menu item that we were looking for so this is the code for that menu item uh this is the actions that whenever we click on a menu item it uh, calls this action so this is the action we will just check it uh after some time this is the uh, id of uh, this menu item which is unique uh permadude and this is the parent menu id uh the parent menu id this is for example product is the parent menu which id is product menu catalog and then products is the uh, child menu whose uh, id is menu product template action another thing is sequence sequence uh, uh, defines the position of a menu item for example this menu item is uh, has a uh, sequence one so it will uh, show up uh, at first place uh, if the menu item have sequence of two it will show up in the second place and uh, active means uh, active false means that uh, this is uh, an active menu item so let's just uh, copy this code and then open our uh, uh, module where we want to add our code and then at the bottom we will add uh, this menu item code so let's just organize the code and then we have to change the menu uh, first of all we have to change the uh, action name a uh, product template action name service products let's just change uh, the name of the uh, template and then uh, uh, we have to change the name of the od sales uh, we have to change the name but the id uh, also and the parent will remain the same so let's just uh, give a value of two so we want to place it at the second uh, position so uh, now let's just add the action for this menu item uh, we have added this menu item but we need to add 
uh, the action. But before that, if we uh, if we just upgrade this module uh, without the action, uh, then uh, this menu item will have uh, nothing to do. Uh, so therefore, we have uh, we must add the actions to uh, add some uh, views into it. So let's just uh, go to the menu item where we uh, have the base code, and then um, copy this action code, and then uh, Control F, press Control F uh, to search for this action, and click, and then here if you here we have the code for uh, this section so just copy uh, the code for this section and then uh, paste it here here so this is the actions actually we have uh, let me just show you uh, what it is uh, at the front end for example i want to see the actions uh, which we have open in the editor so click this debug icon and then click edit action so here you can see all the information related to the actions we have opened here so uh, what uh, is the action name is products this is the action name which is products this is the id uh, external id which is unique per uh, action and uh, let me just search it this is the actions uh external id the first uh, thing uh, before the dot is the module name and this is the model uh, which uh, uh, is defined uh, here raise model is the model of the actions which uh, will pick the data from this model uh, this is the type of the view i r uh, there are a lot of uh, some there are some other uh, uh, actions types we will discuss uh, in the later videos uh, uh this is a view mode that uh, what kind of new views uh, we want to add inside these sections can be view tree view uh, etc and this is the view reference that uh, what which view we want to open up when we first click on the menu item in this case it will open up the can can view and this is the uh, search view reference uh, and this is the domain which we will discuss in the later video so let me just do the required modification this menu action uh, and the external idea of the uh, action sh uh, should be same uh, and then we will have to change here uh, like service products just to uh, differentiate between the two menus like the custom menu we are adding and the uh, default auto menu the rest of the things will remain the same but one thing which i want to change is uh, this one like first i want to uh, open the kanban view and then i want to open and then i want to see the uh, mm, First, I want to see the tree view, and then uh, uh, we can uh, I can navigate to the Kanban view. Uh, so, for this purpose, I just change the order of the views, and then I will have to add the um, tree view here. How we can find out the uh, tree view uh, external ID? Uh, what I will uh, have to do? Uh, just go to the sales module and then click the products menu, and then go here and then click the list view. And here you can you should uh, click on the um, debug icon and then here you click on the edit list view this is the external view that uh, and then copy this view and then paste it here the search view will remain the same though i don't want to uh, uh, change it here uh, and i want to change this uh, description a bit like create new service product so this is it. Uh, I know I will uh, just uh, upgrade this module. I don't need to restart the server because I have uh, just made some modification in the XML file. So let me just quickly, quickly uh, upgrade the module. Uh, or says module and then click the upgrade button. And uh, after some time uh, when the module, uh, so we got an error message that uh, let me just check what is the error message the error message is like uh, i external id not found the system which is external id od says the product case. so uh, the mistake we have done here is uh, that we added the parent view as product menu 
item catalog product menu catalog this menu item is located inside the sales module so uh, the the code cannot find it inside the custom module od sales so uh, where this menu is located i will have to add the reference for uh, that menu which is sale dot uh, product menu so this menu is located inside uh, the sale module so i will add sales dot sales is the module name and then i will uh, upgrade this module again to check if everything is okay so after that uh, we got an other error message which is uh, like uh, external id sales dot product template so let me just search for this what is this uh about this one so i uh, i i have done another mistake like i have to add the actions uh be before the menu items because it loads from the top to bottom so when it load it uh, gets loaded the menu item will load first and it will not and the system will not be able to find this id so if i uh, edit uh, if i edit before uh, the menu item then system will uh, run this code and it will just uh, edit uh, into the system and then when uh, it the menu item loaded then uh, it will easily find the action inside this module so let me just upgrade this module uh, i have intentionally uh, made these mistakes in order to explain uh, how you can debug your errors and uh, how, how easily you can solve it so if we go to the sales module and then uh, we can see here that we don't have this menu item what is the reason behind this let me check the code so we can see here that we have made it active false so it should be true because we want to show it uh, here on the view so what we will do we will have to upgrade the module and then uh, we will uh, see the menu item uh, the new my menu item will uh, be added under the products menu so let's just go to the sales uh, menu and then products and then if so first let me click on the products menu uh, i can see uh, that a kanban when you have open up and uh, when i click on the service products i can see the tree view at the first uh, side so this means that uh, we have successfully added uh, a menu item and uh, linked it with a custom action that we have added here uh, uh, thank you guys uh, for watching this video and please like this video uh, and also subscribe our channel